Right, this is it. This is the empty shell situation. Um, leaving in what, 10 minutes or nine minutes now, actually, it's just ticked to 9.51. Oh, pardon me. Put a nice little touch on that. JH and a smiley face with a hat. So, impressions of Jawa Walk. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice establishment. It's a nice, nice place. There's just one problem with the room, though. It's not very well ventilated. Um, so, like, you've got the one window here. And, like, when it comes to it being too hot or something like that, the window will not open anymore. It would have been nice if, like, maybe this window, like, maybe this window opened as well. Um, there's a restrictor on the window, so... You can't open it anymore, which is a bit of annoying, you can shut it, but the room gets quite warm, um, which is a bit of a shame actually, because the room is actually a relatively good size, actually, you look at it and think, oh god, but at least we're sitting on the ledge where the window is open, you get a nice back, you get a nice back uh, chilling. Um, so my bag's all fully packed up. Um, I put nothing in the drawers because there was just no point. If you was actually an undergraduate and you were actually moving in for your term or term time, then I can kind of understand like all the different spaces. You've got like four like things there and you've got the, the stuff up there and you've got uh, stuff in there as well. Like, you, like a wardrobe and you've got so much drawers here and that, that let alone actually also as well if you really wanted to there's actually quite a lot of storage on the wall bit here if you wanted to so that's good uh bathroom has been good uh nice actual good size actually i kind of looked and thought oh god okay but it's actually good also what is actually surprising as well is that the bathroom floor has under heating underfloor heating which, when I went to like go to the toilet at night, I was just like, wow, my feet are roasting. And then there's underfloor heating. Either that or it's just me. Um, so it's 9.54 now, so I mean, literally this morning, I've been out walking uh, a little bit, and then I walked to the Beloyal College to have some breakfast. And I have to admit, um, the people in there are a little bit judgmental discriminative I would have said because like there was a lot of pretty much every single person in there was in like smart attire but I don't get that like why would you go when you go when you, you dress down for breakfast you don't dress up so I'm, I'm like in I'm in just a t-shirt I mean granted I got them on as well but uh, I've granted I got them on as well but like, because it's, I'm thinking about the weather, but people have been like smart attire, and I just, I sat some, I sat on a really nice part of the seating bit, and there was just like one long table that I had to myself for such a long time, and I thought to myself, nobody's actually sitting next to me, people are just walking past to sit in the middle or somewhere else, and I'm like, am I, am I doing something wrong here? Am I doing something wrong? Like, why is no one sitting next to me? And then I just. I went to I went to get up and leave my food down like you would and they went oh you don't do your food oh you've got to bring it up and do it yourself I'm like I'm staying here for leisure and you're actually telling me off for being on my leisures <laughs> um, so they were uh, the, some of the staff were a little bit stuck up and like full of themselves and whatnot and posh background and all and I've not come from that background as you know um, so I mean I'm going to be in the Malmaison so I'm going to be in a bit that's not university college based so uh, yeah might as well turn the lights off because I'm going to be leaving in four minutes now here's the thing um the people in the actual in the college said, "Leave the your dorm 
at 10 o'clock. They didn't, however, say about what time to bring it back for. So my plan is, after this, I'm going to walk back up Mansfield Road, which is what I just did earlier. Uh, and I think it's Mansfield Road. And go to the uh, Natural History Museum. And it's also the, and also the Pit Museum is there as well. It's a two-in-one. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to walk to the Ashmolean Museum. I'm just going to try to do all the museums the most I can. I don't want to tire myself out. I'm tired already, but I don't want to do too much. Let alone because I'll have my bag on my back. And it's got all my stuff in it. And I think my checking time is like 2 o'clock. So I've got like a couple of hours in Oxford before I go into the Balmazin. And I'll tell you something now. This is going to be a downgrade to the Malmaison that I'm going to be in in a few hours. I mean, don't get me wrong, this has been good. It has. But the Malmaison is going to be a step up. For sure. I don't think there's anything else now. It is 9.58. I'm going to go now. So, uh, impressions of here. Would I actually stay here again? No, because... Don't need to. If I was to stay somewhere, stay somewhere else in Oxford, it might be one of the other colleges, maybe, but not not in not in uh, the Beloyal. Uh, but yeah, poten poten potentially some of the other hotels. Um, but like I said, I don't really need to come to Oxford again because I've done quite a lot already and I've got, this is my final day so I've got a lot more I can potentially do on my final day. Uh, right, so that's it now, for now. I'm going to put my bag on my back, get going, explore the, ho explore the uh, museums and just have a good time. So thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.